I am here with yet another easy floral tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to my page Arty Vibes by Sanika. So we had seen these different floral tutorials already. If you have not checked them out, they are there on my YouTube channel. And today let's begin with one more interesting floral tutorial. It is going to be another beautiful technique and I am sure you will love it. So let's see what all we will need. So first of all I am using my watercolor paper which is 100% cotton and 300 GSM paper. And I will be using these watercolor sheets for today's painting. So you can use any watercolors that you have instead of this. These are watercolor sheets. Uh, the link of all the materials that I am using are there in the description so you can check those. So today I think I'll use the blue and the violet. So let's start with the peacock blue color first. You can use any blue color that you have of any watercolors. You can use pans or tubes or anything that you have. So I've thus taken this peacock blue color in my brush and I am going with smaller strokes to begin with my flower. You can see the way in which I am putting them on my paper. So they are as if they are starting from a center and radiating all directions outwards. So you can see the color is very pigmented in the central part and as we go outside I'll go on adding more water to it and make it slightly lighter. So I'm just touching my brush on the paper and lifting it up to get these small small strokes. As I move outwards I'll start adding more water to my color and that's how we'll get a lighter shade of the same color. So now we are done with the basic blue flower. I'll just add a darker shade in the central part. So I think I'll use my Persian blue color for that. So I'm just taking the Persian blue in my brush and I'm dropping it now when the earlier color is still wet so that it blends it nicely with my earlier color and gives a nice smooth blended shade. So you can see I've just put it in the central part of the flower. Then I'll take the magenta color and start with a nice pink flower. I'll be using the similar technique but this time I'll be drawing only the half of the flower. So it's it will be like it's just blooming out. So I'll start with the half flower and again with the center with a darker color and again I'll move outwards with lighter shade by adding some water to it. Also, if you have seen the video till here, make sure to drop a like and a comment so that I'll be able to know that you are enjoying my tutorials and I'll also try to get more such videos for you all. If you want to learn anything in particular, you can also drop that in the comment section. And if you wish to learn in more detail from me, then I have my detailed classes on Skillshare. So Skillshare is a platform on which there are pre-recorded lessons which you can learn anytime you want and you can watch the videos any number of time once you are a member so right now skillshare is offering one month free membership so you can definitely tap on the link in my description which is there as a teacher i can offer you one month free so you can watch all my classes for free for one month if you register via that link i currently have just started a nice beautiful bird painting series class which has altogether 21 different lessons of different board paintings and I am posting out each new day a new lesson with a new board painting so so many people have enjoyed that so far and are trying out different paintings after watching my classes so if you are interested you can also tap on the link in the description and just go check out the introduction of the class and if you like it you can definitely register and you will get one month completely free you will not be charged at all for one month in case you have any doubts regarding this you can drop me a message on instagram at rtvibes by sanika and i'll surely reply to you 
and answer all your questions okay so i have again drawing another flower here with uh, my same cobalt blue color and again this one is further more smaller like a bud so you can see it is drooping down so that's why i have pointed it in that particular shape so do it accordingly if you are new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed just press the subscribe button and the bell icon to get regular notification about my new videos now let's add the stems to these flowers i am doing that with the purple color On the third flower, I already see a lot of color in the central part, so I'll just drag that color itself below to make my stem. So you can use these small hacks to while you're painting, you know. Then I'll also add some leaves. So here there is excess color already, so I'll just use that color only to make my leaves. Since this is a very rough paper, uh, my colors need to, I need to press them very hard on the paper to get a nice smooth finish. So you can see it is very rough and textured. So for a smoother finished color, I need to like actually let the color soak into the paper before I get a nice smooth finish. So choose the paper on which you can do it nicely. when you start but definitely for a beginner a 100% cotton and 300 gsm watercolor paper is must for watercolors because choosing a right paper will actually help you paint more beautifully your colors and brushes does not matter that much when it comes to watercolors as compared to the kind of paper you use you can start with any affordable beginner uh, you know artist grade watercolors but uh, for the paper just be sure to use a good one so i'm just using the excess uh, color from the flower since these watercolor sheets are very very well pigmented so i am just taking that extra color from the flower and i'm just painting the leaves with that i'm just adding splattering a few drops of my blue color here and there just to add a nice different effect to it and after that we'll be done with this painting so i hope you are enjoying my videos do drop a comment and let me know if you are liking the videos and also press the like button and let me know if you have any other questions or any other doubts which i can help you with so i'll try to answer them all in my upcoming maybe a question and answer video for you all so drop your questions in the comments and i'll be glad to help you out with everything also if you have any special video request then that also you can just drop in the comments and let me know so i can create those videos for you too thank you so much for watching see you next time